This pattern of multicolor dots uses eight individual colors. To create it, we'll start with a new file that is 600 by 600 pixels in size. I'll go to View and then Guides and then New Guide Layout. We want a guide layout that is four columns and four rows. Make sure there's nothing in width, height or gutter. And so you should have a layout that looks like this. I'll click OK. We're going to put a dot here, a dot at the intersection of each of these points. And then there's going to be one dot in the four corners. So it's going to be a quarter of a dot in each of the four corners. There'll be half a dot here and the corresponding half dot here and half a dot here and the corresponding half dot here. To start, I'm going to the Ellipse tool. I'm going to set up my fill. So I'm going to choose this pastel color here as my fill. I have nothing as a stroke. I'm going to drag out a fairly large sort of circle. I'm going to place it in the middle of the document. So I'm going to the Path Selection tool. Click here, make sure it's set to Canvas, and then just position it in the exact middle of the document. From the Layers panel, I'm going to right click over here and choose Convert to Smart Object. That's going to allow us later on to be able to resize all of the dots in one step. I'll right click this and choose Duplicate Layer. It's important that you choose this option. Back to the Move tool here, I'm going to grab this object and position it up here over the center of this intersection of grid lines. Come back to the ellipse, right click and choose Duplicate Layer. Back to the Move tool and take this object up here. I'm using the Smart Guides to line everything up and it's working really well. Back to our original shape, right click and choose Duplicate Layer. Go back and move this down to here. And then once more. And we'll move it down here. The next shapes need to be broken up over the edges, so they're going to be treated a little bit differently. Back to our original ellipse, we're going to choose to duplicate the layer. This is the one I'm going to throw into the corners here. So we're going to filter and then other and offset. The document size is 600 by 600, so our offsets are going to be 300 and 300 with wraparound set on. You can see that I have my shape thrown out into the corners as expected. Let's go back to the original ellipse again, duplicate the layer. This one's going to go to the sides. So again, with its selected filter, other, and then offset. This time we're going to set vertical to zero. And you can see that the shape has been positioned half over here and half over here. Perfect. Now let's go back to again to our original shape, right click and choose Duplicate Layer. This last one is going up here and down here. Filter, Other, Offset. This time we're choosing to go zero in the horizontal and 300 in the vertical. Just check to make sure that you have half shapes in the middle and top and middle bottom of your document. Click OK. Let's go down to our ellipse here. I'm going to click on the FX icon here and I'm going to choose Color Overlay. This is a way of getting a color over a shape. Now for the first shape, I'm going to bring in the original color. So let me just go grab my swatches panel over here so we can see it. I'm going to click here on this color thumbnail and then go over to my swatches panel and make sure that I'm selecting the color I want to use. It should appear here. I'll click OK and then OK. Now I'm going to right click on this color overlay here and I'm going to choose copy layer style. And then I'm going to select the layer immediately above here, which just got turned off for some reason. I'll come back up here and shift click on the topmost layer. I'll right click and I'll choose paste layer style. Now that means that every one of these layers now has a color overlay layer style. This is this one here. I'm going to double click on the color overlay. Now I can come in here and pick up a different color for this next shape. Then we'll come up to this one, double click, click here to select the color picker, Come down here and choose a color, click OK and OK again. 
And we'll repeat that for every single one of these layers using different colors for every single one of these shapes. Now every one of my shapes has been recolored appropriately. The ones in the corner should all be the same color. These two here should be the same color. These two here should be the same color. The five in the middle should all be different colors. We'll go to view and then guides and clear guides. We don't need them any longer. I'll go to edit and define pattern and this is multicolor dots. And we'll test it. And it's working perfectly. Let's go back to our original document. I'm going to double click on one of the smart object layers. It doesn't matter which one I double click on. If I want a smaller dot, I can make it smaller. I'm holding the Alt or Option key down as I reduce the size of my shape. I'll click the check mark. We'll close this document and save it. And now we have the same pattern, but this time the dots are much smaller. Now this begs the question of what if we want to make the dots bigger? Let's double click on this and we're going back to the original size, but let's make it bigger still. Here's part of the problem. Our dot is now bigger than our artboard, but that's really easily solved. Just make sure that it's centered over the top of the artboard or the working area of this document. Click the check mark and then come here to Image and choose Reveal All. What that does is it just resizes the document so that it's now large enough to contain the circle that we've created. I'm going to close this again, select to save it because that's what we want to do. And now we've got this jumbo circle pattern. So the colors are being applied using the color overlay, but because every one of these shapes is the exact same smart object, then changing the size of the shapes is really, really simple to do. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.